Welcome to this Alpha Laval instruction video about how to assemble the lab stack of the Alpha Laval test unit M20. Remember, this tutorial is a supplement to the user manual and does not replace it. To ensure safe and correct use, please read the manual carefully. These are the spare parts needed to assemble the lab stack of the Alpha Laval test unit M20. Start by placing a lock ring with the flat side downwards. Next, place a membrane sheet on top of the lock ring with the membrane layer side downwards. Then place the support plate on top of the membrane sheet. Then put the second membrane sheet on the support plate with the paper side downwards. Finally, mount the second lock ring to hold two membrane sheets together. Repeat the procedure until the desired number of plates is ready. Stack the support plates carefully to avoid scratching the membrane layer of the membrane sheet. The maximum number of support plates of certain membrane types is shown in the table. To assemble the plate stack, start by wiping off both the bottom and top flanges, paying extra attention to the O-ring grooves. Wipe off the two O-rings as well. Then add lubricant with glycerin on the surface of the O-rings and mount the O-rings in the grooves of the flange. Loading of the plate stack starts now. The first plate to be placed in position is always a spacer plate. The side with the flat center should always face downwards. Next, place the support plate on top of the spacer plate. Repeat until a stack consisting of the desired number of support plates is ready. The last plate is always a spacer plate. Push the plate stack against the thin metal rod. Check that all the plates are in parallel and arrange them so that the permeate hose connections are facing towards the tank and as close as possible to it. To compress the plate stack, start by connecting a hydraulic pump to the unit. Now, close the load release valve on the hydraulic pump. Slowly open the hydraulic shutoff valve mounted on the base frame. Operate the pump hand lever and compress the plate stack until the hydraulic pressure gauge reads 600 bar. Close the base frame shutoff valve. Open the load release valve. Finally, connect the permeate hoses to the permeate hose connections. Connect the appropriate pressure gauges. Connect the heat exchanger to an auxiliary cooling heating circuit. The cooling media should be counter current to any feed flow. The lab stack of the Alpha Laval test unit M20 has now been assembled successfully.